The stream is starting soon. In the meantime, enjoy some music.
everybody, and welcome. So I was just trying to test the uh, Red Bull sound, and it's not working. Um, so um, we do have a, a uh, you can buy me a Red Bull, uh, which is, uh, you'll probably see Nightbot post it, but it's um, still not playing the sound it's supposed to play. So I apologize for that. It's not collaborating with me today. Hello, everyone, and I hope you are doing well on this March 5th of 2021. If I sound ugh, a little snuffly and, uh, like, not well, uh, I'm a little under the weather today. But uh, it's not going to stop me from playing some games. It's not going to stop me from chatting with y'all. And uh, that's how we do things. Uh, Evil Chocolate Cookie is here. Simmer Girl Natty is here. Oh my God, it's been forever. Um, wow. Steven Crouch is here. Roland is here. Alex is here. Um, uh, Hunter is here. Bobby is here. Uh, Nightbot is obviously here. Corey is here. Oh my God, Corey is here. Corey is never here. Uh, that's amazing. Audio Game Geek is here. Uh, let's see. Uh, so let me right off the bat thank all my awesome patrons. They're right there up on your screen. Uh, if it weren't for patrons, we wouldn't have these great streams. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash Liam Irvin. So big thanks to Kyle Smith. Ivan Soto, Munawar Bajani, Sonny the OG, James Dean, Jim Denham, Anya Kristen, Michael Maslow, Trevor Johnson, Kevin Lyons, Stephen Luttrell, Simon Yeager, Lukish, uh, Austin Nix, Sarah Hawk, Jason Smith, Melissa Rowe, Hillary Duncan, Ashley Coleman, Bianca, The Evil Chocolate Cookie, Shane Early, Courtney Barton, Bryant, Roland Engelsma, hope I'm getting that right, uh, Axel Schrule. Abdullah Dubase, Changeling, and Jack Filichek. So thanks to all you guys that are patrons. Thanks to everyone who donates and shares. You can also uh, buy me a Red Bull at lirvin.me slash Red Bull. Um, it's supposed to do a thing where it plays a sound, but it's not doing it. Um, so wait, if Alex is here... No, it's a different Alex, I think. I don't think it's um, Alex from Code 7, which we did play in... Um, uh, bulk last Saturday. That was uh, quite the stream. Uh, if you guys were here for that, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, Simmer Girl Maddie says it's been a while. How are you doing, Maddie? It has been um, ages. Um, or Orinx is here. Hasahaja. Oh my God, I'm sure I pronounced ruined that. I, aren't, I, aren't I supposed to call you something else? Sorry that I don't remember it. Uh, Shine is here. Uh, Kayla is here. Oh, Kayla is... Kayla, you're working, right? So Kayla is probably just checking in from work, but Kayla, thank you so much. I made uh, Kayla as a moderator because... I don't know. Kayla, why didn't I make you a moderator? Because I was feeling nice, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you're helpful. You help out. Um... um Oh, Bobby with a good question, which um, Super Chat will read here in a second. So thank you so much for the Super Chat. Ahaza, I think is how I'm supposed to. Ahaza? Ahaza? We'll go with that. Waiting for the Super Chat to come in. Um, Maddie says, doing pretty good. Sorry, you're not feeling so hot today. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know why the Super Chat's not reading. Um, you know, oh, there it is. Kath Brown donated four pounds and ninety nine pence through Super Chat. I know I keep asking, but when will you play Crazy Party again? I can't wait to play with um, you. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm hoping next week. Um, I was gonna do it earlier this week. I've had a lot going on. Um, I've been sick. Of course, so you guys can tell I'm still not a hundred percent. Listen, I'm sniffling. So, um, but you know what? I have the medicine. That helps everything. I have Red Bull. Well, I actually don't know if that helps, but. And today's flavor 
Today's flavor is watermelon again. I'm trying to work through all the watermelons I've got. Mm. Oh, it's cold. Ugh, I don't know if that helps. Oh, I think that just makes it worse. At least it's not milk. Um. Oh, I'm working. I have your stream going. I'll be here for the full duration. Oh, cool. And... Oh, you made me a mod because uh, in case you need me to. Also, you love me. Yeah, I tolerate you. I wouldn't go as far to say I love you, but now Kayla's good people. Uh, Fire Flame Dragon says, hi, I am here now. You must enjoy my company. Can I do it earlier? Um, I'll try to do an earlier one. I, I know that for some people, um, and this is the thing with time zones, right? Um, I know what time zones it can be really hard to do stuff at times that works for everybody. And to be fair, it's hard to always do it at times that work for me as well. Um, but I try to mix these streams around a little bit so that people on different time zones can enjoy some streams. Um, it, it can be harder sometimes, but I do what I can. So uh, I want to, a couple things really quick. Um, Today we're doing the Hell Hunter, Hell Hunter Anti Nomen demo. Now you're probably like Liam, you did this already, and you didn't like it, and you really bitched about it. And you're right, I did. Um, I was not happy with several things about the game. Now, um, Tango Rider, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, is, and I don't know what their real name is, but that's the the name that I know them on on the forums kind of roasted me over the coals for the way I did the demo. And uh, I actually agree with them. Uh, I did not give the demo a fair chance. We played part of it. I bailed on it. Um, I bailed on it early. Apparently, I missed a bunch of stuff. Um, apparently, I really missed some things. Um, so I actually agree with them that I really did not give it a fair shake. Um, they also pointed out a few other things, too, that I'll try to mention, but I do want to say, um, and I'll just I'll just get it out of the way really quick. Um, so one of the things is that apparently there are multiple groups making games. Um, they're using a common engine that has been developed, and um, that's why you'll notice that some of the games, like, I believe, um, Fury road max um mad max fury road or whatever that game is um uses the same engine blind quest uses it um this game uses it so there are some similarities but they're not the same author uh and i did not know that but i want to point out something which is if it looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck it to me it's a duck so Unfortunately, the the Italian games have kind of gotten a bad rap, and I don't know if it's completely deserved, but whenever somebody sees something coming out of the Audio Games Association, they just kind of assume it's going to be subpar, um, and I don't think that's really fair, but that's what has kind of happened so far. So what you have to understand is oh Corey says i'm here to listen to this because i'll never buy any more of their games okay i mean that's fair Corey. I, I don't i don't know if i necessarily agree with that i thought uh western drama was really good um i thought fury road was really good or whatever it's called i don't know uh you know thunderdome or whatever it was um i didn't think it was bad the problem is is that we it's something we have to remember is they're all made by different people. But here's the thing, right? Like if you do something um and it's going to be under that umbrella, people are just going to assume. So one thing I would like to see them do is make more of an effort to make it clear who the games are actually written by because I understand that they're using the Audio Games Association as sort of a marketplace, kind of like a blind steam uh, which is totally cool. Like, I have no problems with that. But um, unfortunately, the publisher themselves have, have gotten kind of a bad rap. If if you guys are familiar with old Nintendo games, it's kind of like LJN um, in the 80s. They released a lot of subpar movie tie-ins and things like that where they just weren't good games. Um, 
and they were made by different people, but they had the LJN moniker uh, on them. And so whenever people saw LJN, they just went, oh, God. Um, so, yeah, it's unfortunately, they do get a bad rap. Now, that being said, I didn't completely hate this demo. I thought this demo had a lot going for it. One of the things that I appreciate is that Tenga Writer has gone, listen, I realize the demo and the game itself has a lot of room for improvement. So I've gone in and I've redone the demo. I've tried to listen to as much feedback as I could. I've really tried to tighten it up. I've tried to make it better. So that's fine. Um, yeah, James Dean has a really good point, which is you should always give developers a chances to improve, um, particularly if you don't want to make a game yourself. Remember, these take time and learning, and this is true. Um, however, uh, the problem is, is that I feel like if there are a group of people that are working together, even loosely, I feel like they should learn from each other's experiences. Um, I think Tango Writer gets it. I genuinely do, and I'm not just saying that because I got raked over the coals. I genuinely do think so because Tango Writer actually took the time and went, no, you know what? This does need work. All right, I'm going to put in the work, and we're going to see the fruits of their labor. And I'm actually excited to see that because I think the concept is cool. I, again, I'm going to point out the issues as I go along, but I also want to be fair and point out that they are using an engine that apparently has some limitations. Now, I only care about that so much because at the end of the day, when you go to a restaurant, you want good food. And so if there's a hair in your soup, you don't care why there was a hair in your soup. There's just a hair in your soup. And so for a lot of people, it's like, hey, you know, what's going on? Um, Corey says, and they use the same voice actors for a lot of their stuff. Yeah, it's and it's because, Corey, I think they all kind of know each other. Um they're all, I think, from the same place. Um, yeah, F Fury Driver Moonwalks. I couldn't remember the name of the game. Sorry. I call it Fury Road because I like Mad Max. So I don't want you guys to be like, wow, Liam hates this game and hates these people. I don't. I actually think a lot of them have really good ideas. Um I think there have been some really cool ideas that could have been realized a lot better. I liked Fury Driver a lot. Uh, I thought it was a really cool concept. I would have liked to have seen more done with it. And it's part of the issue, I think, is the engine. And that's a whole separate thing. And I don't want to get too technical because... Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, oh. So uh, before I start, don't forget, if you enjoy these streams, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a Red Bull. I really, at this point, I probably could use some cough drops. Or, like, cough syrup. Mm. Or some Mucinex. Because, man, my... Oh! And this Red Bull, I think, was, like, the worst thing for me. Yes, they should share knowledge for sure. I also feel like we're not being listened to. Uh, and we're getting old concepts we're bored of. Well, I will say, Tango Rider is listening. And I appreciate that. Uh, and I, I, I believe Tango Rider is going to check out the stream. So, um... You know, I do want to say I appreciate that we are being listened to. Um, a Western drama was my favorite. Me too. And that was made by Tribit. And that's a different group of people entirely. Um, <clears throat> I liked a Western drama. It has its issues, right? Um, but I loved it because I always enjoyed the spaghetti Westerns. And I always enjoyed... I love things that are cliched i'm weird and and a lot of people don't like things like this but i love cliches there is nothing hap that makes me happier than a cliche and some fourth wall breaking which is why i love deadpool um deadpool is my favorite comic character because it's all about stupid cliches and breaking the fourth wall and i love it um so like I enjoy stuff like that immensely. So where, um, you know, Western drama didn't break the fourth wall. It had so many Western cliches and it made me so happy. Um, and some people hate that stuff. I was over the moon. 
I loved it. So that's just me. Carrie Kellerin says, uh, did I join too late? No, no, we haven't started yet. I just kind of gave my pre-spiel on what we're playing and why we're playing it again. Um, so, I mean, feel free to go back and check that out in the archive. Uh, yeah, you can buy the Western Drama soundtrack now. It's a pretty cool soundtrack. Um, I thought they did a good job on it. Um, is it Mar Mariana? Or Mariana is, is a really talented composer. And um, I thought there was a lot of work and love put into that game. Just you could tell that they enjoyed spaghetti westerns and wanted to make a cliched spaghetti western. And I thought they did really good at that. Um, you know, again, they kind of filled in the gaps a little too much with fluff to make the game longer. Uh, I always hate when people do that. But listen, it is what it is. It's their first game. I was pretty happy with it. So let's uh, move on. We're going to start playing Hell Hunter. And uh, I do have a lot to say about this game. Good and bad. Hell Hunter. Anti Nomen. Move among the options in the main menu with the left and right arrow keys. Then press Control to select an option. So as we do. You guys know that I like to have the screen up because I believe they're very good about putting their captions on screen. There we go. So there is the game on your screen. And I will try to get to messages as well as I can. Um, uh, Lucas says... Looking forward to seeing what the demo, the new demo is like. I don't really have high hopes, though. I, I don't know. I mean, again, I'm going to point out the problems, but we're going to try and enjoy it for what it is. Um, the acting needed work, but that was part of the charm for me. You know what? I thought the acting was fine. I thought they could have used one or two more actors. Um, without fluff, a game would be rugged and boring. No, but I thought they were told a cool story. I mean, like I said, again, it wasn't an amazing story, but it was your standard spaghetti western, and that's why I loved it. Um, you know, it had everything from fridging to native Indians, and uh, my favorite thing is still um, you find out, you know, the plot twist, and then someone dies right away. And I just, it, it's so cliched, and I love it. Uh, Shine says the combat in these games are way too easy. So something was done with the combat in this game, but I don't think it was redone entirely. So let's um, let's try this out. New game, load game. All right, we're gonna do new, new game. game. The story of Elian, the vampire hunter, is about to start. You can skip cutscenes by pressing Control for two seconds. Oh! Move among the options in the pause menu with the left and right arrow keys. Then press Control to select an option. I wish they would have used Use Enter. Use Tab and Shift Tab to explore the environment, <clears throat> forward and backwards. Oh, Use good. the Control key to examine the interactive elements. Space bar to open the pause menu and the I key to access the infantry. All right. During battle, press the up arrow key to attack. Press the left, right, or down arrow key to dodge. Use the oh. space bar to drink a blood vial and control to hear Elian's health amount. Very well. That is all you need to know in order to survive. Good luck. Our story takes place in our days, in a place located somewhere in Transylvania. In a world where technology has spread worldwide, in a world. mankind can't even imagine that vampires and all the creatures of the night actually exist. Some of them even manage to integrate into society. Elian is Monsters. a dampier, the son of a vampire and a human. He became a vampire hunter a long time ago. Now Elian is inside the pub of a village. So, after a long is he career Elian as Cullen? a vampire hunter, the day has finally come. Is he the son of Bella Today, and Edward? Today, Elian will hunt Dracula, the Lord of Darkness. <laughs> Is he Nothing sparkly? Nothing will change <laughs> until Dracula disappears. The dusk is about to end, and his drink as well. It's almost time to leave. <laughs> oh, 
a modern pub frequented by young people. At the moment there's some catchy music playing. The only thing out of place is Elian, and he knows that. It's time to go. That's because he's sparkly. You have reached pub. So one of the cool things is they've... Um, my understanding is they've gotten a lot rid of a lot of the surplu- superfluous, like press, tab, to, move, and stuff like that. Um, so let's kind of look and see. Glass. Elian's favorite booze was inside it. Was. <laughs> Not enough was. to hinder his job anyway. Bartender. Elian pays the bartender. Now he can go. Bag. Inside Elian's wide bag, there are many ancient weapons, like the legendary Vampire's Bane sword. But, especially nowadays, it's not a good idea to show them in public. No. Elian is officially a hunter. But actually, he also hunts creatures of the night, like vampires. In any case, he still draws people's attention. That's because he sparkles. Young guy. The guy gets close to Elian and asks him to take a selfie with him. Elian's glare is more than enough to make him desist. Take a selfie. Young woman. That woman sat by the bar seems more interested in taking a photo of her drink and publishing it on her blog than actually drinking it. To the village. All right, so we're going out to the village. It's a calm place compared to most cities these days. Yet technology has arrived even here. Elian can see on the horizon Dracula's castle. Humans can't see it, but he's a dampier, and that's his destination. You have reached village. Citizens, people go back and forth, unaware that the castle of Dracula is visible, even from here. Actually, some of them wouldn't notice it, even if it was visible to humans, since their head is bent toward their smartphones as they walk. So do they get, they must get really good cell service out here. Fountain, a meeting point for people. Even in this village, technology has arrived, after all. Meta guy. <clears throat> Meta guy! I love Meta guy! A strange guy who wears a hood. He gets close to Elian and introduces himself as Meta guy. Then he tells him that he will give Elian some good advice. First of all, he tells him that the secret of a good exploration is to examine an object many times, possibly later. Meta Guy also asks Elian if he knows what turning around means. Elian is a bit perplexed. The guy goes on to say that it means <laughs> that if he Meta explores guy. a map going forward and right after he goes backward, that means that he has turned around. The same happens if he goes backward and then forward. He urges Elian not to forget this advice. I love Meta Guy. I, I, I feel like Meta Guy is like their excuse to um, give advice that the, the character wouldn't normally know. No, he said out of place music plays, but where's. I didn't actually hear that. I wasn't really paying attention, though, to be honest, so. To the pub, to the castle of Dracula. Citizens, right, so fountain, meta to the, to the castle of I do Dracula. like, it seems like as you tab, you can quickly tab. Check this out. Meta to the castle of Dracula. So they've tightened this up what a little Elian bit. What Elian sees when he enters is a huge room with a gothic <clears throat> look. Four strong creatures are waiting for him. Oh boy. But Elian doesn't hesitate and draws his sword. His glare is just as sharp. You have reached Main Hall. All right, so we've got creatures. Uh, we'll talk about this in a quick second. I am—I don't have my phone up, so I can't check chat. I have to jump back and forth. Um, so far, the dialogue is making me twitch. 
Uh, lots of repetition in um, what sounds like broken English. So I think David's English is really good, actually. I think the problem is that um, he's reading the script as he gets them. And I suspect for a lot of these guys um, that are writing, the, um, English is a second language. What they need is they really need somebody that speaks English fluently. And I'm not going to say that these guys don't, but they need someone that speaks English as a first language that can kind of help with the nuances because there are certain times where, yeah, grammatically, it's a little strange. Um, but the English is not horrendous. And so, you know, I'm going to be fair and say that it's not horrible. All right. So this is the part that people don't like the combat system annoys a lot of people but we got to do it anyway so here we go statue a huge and majestic statue of a gargoyle is placed in the center of the hall Elian won't let his guard down it could be an actual monster uh oh also a really quick note you have to actually use the right control key or I'm sorry the left control key to look at things the game should specify this, but it doesn't. Manticore. Manticore is Whoa. approaching Elian. A giant creature with a human face. Uh oh. The body of a lion and a long scorpion tail. Monsters that can attack from many directions or that can grab Elian can be defeated faster dodging them rather than with brute force. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Elian gains 150 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control to continue. So you're going to notice a few things. One thing that I appreciate is there's not a lot of chatter. So I don't like the combat system. I never really have. I don't like the dodge and the opposite direction system, especially because I'm half deaf. So like sounds in the right ear are really hard to hear. Um, but what I do like is there's not a lot of extra noise anymore. So you'll notice there's not a lot of, you took a hit, you took damage, da, da, da. Um, I appreciate this. Um, Austin says, I'm pretty sure none of the... Um, no, 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 they're all Italian. Um, as far as I know. This guy, I forget his name, David, he's definitely Italian. Um, I forget his name. But he's done some other work before. He's definitely from Italy. Um, even the guy that does uh, Blind Gladiator, which we've done, uh, he's also Italian. Um, you can tell by their names. Just keep in mind that there are... Something we have to remember, too, is that there are some expatriates that live, and there are people that, you know, grow up learn, uh, growing up learning English and Italian. So, um, you know, and they may have worked in other places or whatever. So I, I my understanding is this guy is Italian. Um, I know the um, the one girl, the lady, you should never call them girls, that's kind of rude. Um, the woman that is in um, a Western drama is definitely Italian. You can hear it in her voice. Um, and I think her name is like Katarina or something. Marilyn uh, says, this game sounds fun. Uh, I don't know how fun it is so far, but... I don't want to say it's not fun either, so let's just keep going. Statue. Giant armor. Uh-oh. A giant living armor starts to move. It raises its shield with the left arm. His blade in the other hand points toward Elian. Uh-oh. Monsters like this have to be defeated with brute force, and they are resistant too. They are strong, but slower than other monsters. The battle begins. Ah! <laughs> 
The battle ends. So Alien gains 200 experience points. Press control to continue. Statue. Dragon. A dragon stands before Elian. Oh, snap. He's charging his fire breath and prepares to burn him to ashes. Uh-oh. This is a versatile type of monster. Brute force is required to win, and he's not slow. So On they the other hand, to hit the buttons really his fast. strength is medium. This enemy has a special attack called Deadly Attack. Oh. This is a sudden attack that an enemy can use during the battle. When you hear this sound, the enemy is doing his deadly attack. You can dodge it like any other attack, but if you get hit, the attack is usually stronger, and it can apply extra effects like oh. strengthening the enemy or weakening Elian for a period of time. The extra effects can be of many kinds, and some of them That's can be applied new. by the enemy even without hitting Elian with a deadly attack. Oh, that's kind of... There we go. The battle ends! Elian gains 250 experience points. Elian gets Blood Vial. Press control I'm to really continue. I'm really getting the daylights beaten out of me here. Um... Um, is this game made by the same people? No, um, this is a different... developer. Um, I don't know what his actual name is, but we know him as, um, Tanga Rider. And, um... I mean, it's it's under the same you know game audio games association uh, banner. Um, love the creature sounds kind of says Fireflame. Yeah, the sounds are not bad. Um, I don't like the arcadey style of of combat, but the sounds aren't also horrible either, which I appreciate. Again, I'm trying to be fair. I don't want to... Statue. Dark Knight. Oh, the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight now gets his lance and is ready to fight. Uh-oh. He seems quite confident. And fast as well. Oh, boy. Enemies like this are faster, even if less strong. Uh-oh. Battle. <laughs> He has no more blood signs. The battle ends. Alien gains three hundred. Experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control. So one of the to annoyances um, that you'll find is that you can't actually heal yourself during combat. You opened the see. menu page. Press backspace to go back to the map. Life points. Experience points. Life points. More than 75% oh, okay. life points. So that's... Exper inventory. So I actually do like the way that this is done. Um, now when you move between these things, you press control to find out what the object is. So that's kind of nice. Instructions. Inventory. Okay. 
You opened the inventory page. One. Blood vial. Can I a use, crystallization can I use of it? power shaped like a vial, which contains blood. Press backspace to go okay, back so you can't to the menu use it page. During that's too bad. You um, you're back in the map. But I do like the way that this was improved. Um, that is definitely a improvement. So that's nice. Statue, entrance door. There's no reason to turn back. Oh, well, sorry. Dracula is here, and Elian is ready for the battle. And someone needs to normalize. Sorry, he like gets all up in your ears. Actually, I kind of like that. To the library. He's like letting you know, like, this is what you're doing. All right, so now we get a puzzle. Elian slays hordes of monsters along his way. Heck yeah, he no does. one can stop him. Now a library stands before Elian. It's a wide area. Many piles of books are on the ground, but despite the mess, there's no trace of dust. Actually, even the books are in perfect condition. You have reached library room. Bookshelf 1. This part of the library is filled with books about physics. Bookshelf 2. Technology is the main subject of the books inside this bookshelf. Bookshelf 3. This bookshelf gathers all the books that talk about theology. Pile of books. A lot of books are placed in this pile. This chaotic pile <coughs> is in contrast with the order of this library. Bookshelves. Actually, the library continues for a very long and wide area. It's an immense collection. Anyway, Elian is sure that there's no need to make a deeper search into the library than this space. Stairs. To the throne room. This door is locked by an electronic mechanism. Elian should check around for a reader that can open the door. Bookshelf 1. This part of the library is filled right. with books so, about physics. Remember they mentioned that you Bookshelf should check two. things multiple Bookshelf times. Three. Pile of books. A lot of books are placed in this pile. This chaotic pile is in contrast with the order of this library. Bookshelves. So there you go. You'll just see I just skipped... Actually, the library continues for a very long and wide. I like that you can skip those. Stairs. I think they should have made it one second instead of two. To the throne room. Bookshelf one. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Pile of books. Book. Stairs. The path from where Elian came. There's no reason for a retreat. Nope. All right, so I need to find... To the throne room. A reader. Bookshelf one. This part of the library is filled with books about physics. All right. Bookshelf 2. Technology is the main subject of the books inside this bookshelf. Bookshelf 3. There's an empty space in this bookshelf. Ooh. Elian notices that there's a laser reader in that space. It All might right. be connected to the door. So there's Three a Three books reader. would fit perfectly in that space. According to the other books, it seems like he has to search for the first three books of the Pilgrim. Pile of books. Elian checks in this pile if there's any of the books he's searching for. No result at the moment. Bookshelves. Actually, the library continues for a very long and wide area. It's an immense collection. Anyway, Elian is sure that there's no need to make a deeper search into the library than this right, space. So we need three books. Stairs. Book. Oh, here's a book. A lonely book lies on the ground. Just like the one Elian is searching for. He picks Book of the Pilgrim 1. Bookshelf 1. Actually, on a closer look, Elian notices that there's a book that has nothing to do with physics. He removes it and picks Book of the Pilgrim 2. Bookshelf 2. Technology is the main subject of so the books inside this bookshelf. So I'm going to show you something that's going to annoy bookshelf. me here really quick because... Bookshelf pile of books. Elian takes a closer yep. look and explores in all directions. 
And this time he finds Book of the Pilgrims 3 so and picks it. You'll notice that I looked at that that um, pile of books and didn't find a book initially, and I didn't find the book until I had the first two books. Um, the game kind of forces you to do this in a particular order, and uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, but, I mean, again, I'm going to nitpick, and I don't want to nitpick too hard. Um, but this kind of goes back to something that I talked about in the last stream, which I'll talk about when we're done. Bookshelves. Stairs. Because that's not a horrible thing, so but bookshelf, it is. Bookshelf, bookshelf, bookshelf three. Elian finds there all three go. books. He puts them in their space. An electronic beep sound comes beep. from here. And then the door is unlocked. From here? Now Elian can proceed. Pile of book, bookshelf stairs. To the throne room. Bookshelf one. All right, so... To the throne stairs. One thing I also want to point out. Um, remember the game tells you you can use the shift key and tab. You have to use the left shift key. Um, you can't use the right shift key to go back with shift tab, which is not really natural. I want to hold down the right shift key. But again, to the throne I'm not room. trying to nitpick. But again, I want to point out things because I feel like if I'm not pointing out things, I'm not being fair. Oh, you can also use enter Alien's assault to interact is overwhelming. with things. And in the end, he reaches the throne room. Dracula sits on the throne and barely notices Elian. It seems like he's waiting for his next move. You have reached throne room. Anya Kristen says, um, Hello, sorry I cannot say. Uh, I just want to say hello. Can you stream when it's not in the middle of the night in France? Well, yeah, I mean, it's not in the middle of the night in France right now, but if you're talking about, like, Crazy Party, yeah, I'll try to do some earlier streams. Um... As I mentioned to someone earlier, I try to do streams at different times because I have different audiences, so I can't stream, um, like, I mean, if I stream, like, right now, in America, it's noon. Well, my time. Um, we have a bunch of different time zones. So, like, right now, it's one in the afternoon in America on the East Coast. It's noon here. It's 10 o'clock in California. Um, so I have to try to stream at different times so that different groups can enjoy the streams. Um... So that's just the way that we do things, and it's not to try to be difficult or anything. It's just I want everyone to try to be able to tune in. So that's why we did a crazy party stream on Monday, and it was kind of later because it was prime time for America. But I do know that when we streamed, it was like 2 in the morning in France and, um, you know, Italy and all that. So I do apologize. Uh, and that's not me trying to, you know, not care about you guys. I just it's hard when everyone lives in different places we should all live in one country together what do you guys think let's all move let's all move in together we'll have a big house we'll have the urban army compound chalice in his hand there's a chalice with some wine inside oh no no that's human blood dracula you monster throne Elian would expect a throne made with human <clears throat> bones. Yeah. But actually, it's more similar to a normal throne. It must be from a very ancient age. Um, okay, so they actually improved this after uh, quite a bit after all, says uh, Lukish. Um, I dare say this might be the best of all their not-so-good games. I mean, the ones like Inquisitor or Blind Quest. <clears throat> the library ambience sounds like we're standing in a freezer. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? Again, what I want to point out, though, too, is that remember that they don't... Different groups make these games. So it's I try not to compare games to each other because I'm learning that they're made by different groups. And they're just... They're published by one publisher... But they're not all made by that publisher. And this is where it gets, I think, confusing. Because something that we assume as gamers, because it's the way it's been done, is that whoever publishes the game makes the game. Um, and obviously, it's not the case with these guys. Um, different people are making the games, and Audio Games Association is publishing for them. Um, and they have kind of a common set of tools that they're using. Uh, so, it's something we just got to keep in mind. Yes, the Irvin Army compound would be great. 
We will not fail. I'm in as long as we can elect DJ Wonderbread as the president. <laughs> Dracula. Oh, all right. Stained see glass window. Oh, let's look at these. This colored window is decorated with a gorgeous gothic style image. Can we break it? No. Door. Chalice. I want to see the door. Drac stained door. Can we go? Can just be like, listen, Dracula, we'll see you later. This is it. Elian closes the door, and oh. only one among them will cross it again. There can be only one. You hear that, Dracula? There can be only one. Chalice. Throne. Dracula. Stained door. This is it. Oh, I can't. Elian closes the door, and only one so among them will So that should probably have another set of text there that should be like, The door is already closed. Remember, there can be only one. Stained Dracula. Well, let's do it. Elian takes some steps forward and declares to Dracula that now it's the time of his demise. The Lord of Darkness has a smug look on his face and tells him that he should have kept going around, playing the vampire hunter. Elian gets nervous and dashes toward Dracula, ready for the battle. The battle begins. <laughs> Elian is getting weaker. Elian is defeated. Oh! Seems like this is the end. It is a battle that Elian can't win. No. Nope. In the end, he loses his strength, and Dracula slowly gets close to him. Dracula's red eyes light up. A few seconds later, Elian's sight gets distorted. The room behind the Lord of Darkness comes alive. The throne morphs into an infernal beast. As long as the house isn't in America, what's the wrong room America? gets dark and hey. populated by creatures, where before there was only the There's furniture plenty of room, of the room. here. Elian's psyche we is get one. like our own state. Dracula stands no before him Montana. and, with his claw. He causes a horrible scratch to Elian's torso. Ooh. His blood flows copiously. Copiously. In Dracula's I hand, there's an incorporeal substance. It's Elian's dampier essence. In terror, he searches for an opening from where to escape, and with a last glimpse of lucidity, Elian rushes toward the stained glass window. Run, Elian, run! While those creatures are tugging at him, he jumps and smashes the window, falling into the sea. Before his dampier powers disappear, Elian uses them to avoid a fatal landing. But still he faints a few moments later, among the waves. Game over. Well, we're dead. Elian opens what? his eyes, and no. all around there's a quiet coast. Despite his regeneration powers, he's in bad condition. Besides this, he's tired, hungry, and completely wet. Elian needs to know where he is, but the mist doesn't help. Nope. You have reached Misty Coast. See, I can't figure out why the coffee thing that we're using for Red Bull does not play sounds. Um, so again, apologies for that. Um, I know a couple people used it in the last stream and I felt kind of bad because, you know, I've, I, you know, you know how I am. I actually care. Um, so we were supposed to lose that fight. It was one of those unwinnable fights, which I actually kind of like. Unwinnable fights are kind of cool. So, uh, here we go. Floating gem. Elian notices a gem which is suspended above the ground. He could swear that nothing was there before, as if it materialized just a few moments ago. Hmm. If he focuses on the gem, his consciousness slips inside it. Ooh. Apparently, he can register his memories inside it. If he focuses on it again, Elian will be able to save the game. Oh, I love it, yeah. What does that mean? Distant promontory. Blood. There's a lot of blood. Too much. Even if the wounds are regenerating, Elian is still bleeding. 
He has to hurry. Saving point. You saved the game. All right, so that's what the gem is. It's a saving point. To inland. See. Elian lost basically all of his equipment, and most of it has been engulfed by the sea. He can't see anything on the surface, so there's no point wasting more time. Distant promontory. Elian can see Dracula's castle on the edge of that distant promontory. But if he can see it, then it's not far enough for Dracula. He might send his army to finish Elian. So he decides to travel inland as soon as possible and find a safe place So for the moment. I know people were saying that the English was kind of weird. It's not far enough. I would have said, like, you know, then Dracula is not far enough away or something like that. But these are, like, small things. Blood. Saving point. To inland. All right, so we'll go As Elian travels inland, the mist becomes more dense. Besides this, his sight gets blurry. Yep. After a while, he finally sees something among the mist. Oh. Some wooden building, apparently. Perhaps he can find something useful. Wooden building. Misty area. Oh. Houses one. That was a... Medical kit. Wooden building two, to the coast, two houses two, wooden building one. Elian checks inside, but nothing he finds is useful. Medical kit. A medical kit. Elian is not interested in the tools inside it. What draws his attention is a transfusion bag. Dampiers drink blood, Ew. even if they are not attached to human blood like vampires. They can drink any kind of blood, and oh. since the owner of this kit probably won't reclaim it, Elian will take it. You stealer. In these conditions, blood would be a mere palliative. The best use of it is in battle to regain strength. Among Dampier's innate powers is the capacity to extract blood and store it into a crystallization of power. Like a vial which is more practical in battle. In any case, Elian gets three blood vials. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I gotta point this out. I love how we get, and, and I pointed this out the last time, we get this whole exp expository text, and then they're like, here, have three blood vials. Wooden building two. Uh... Inside the building, there's some rubbish. The only interesting thing is a rope. To the coast. Two houses, two. There are other wooden buildings proceeding further, even some lumber, but no trace of people, not even of monsters. Monsters! The silence is deafening. Elian barely hears the sound of his steps. In front of him, there's a dense wall of mist. You so have what I would have done... Misty area. Um, houses, too. What I would have done is I would have actually given these more ex explanatory names, like instead of houses three, houses four, I would have said like, you know, a large house, a small house, a wooden house, um, a destroyed house. Wooden but building three. Again, I'm, I'm just nitpicky, so don't mind me. Lumber. Wooden building four. To houses one. Wall of mist. Wooden building three. Nothing interesting, even here. Wait, actually, there's a sack. Now that Elian lost his bag, he will need something to store his inventory. Right. It's a bit dirty, but solid enough to prove useful. So Elian takes it. Nice. Now he needs a rope to make it more practical. But I have one. Lumber. A pile of lumber is gathered here. Wooden building four. Inside it, there's some rusty pots. Nothing really useful anyway. To houses one, wall of mist. A very dense wall of mist blocks the way. Elian wants to check around before proceeding anyway, so it's not a problem at the moment. Wooden building three, lump, wooden b to houses. So we need a rope, so I know that I we saw the rope. You have reached misty air, wooden b medical, wooden building two. two. Since inside the building there's a rope, Elian takes the rope, and now the sack is ready to be transported and to store the items he will collect. 
Now he has to explore around to have a better idea of where he is and to decide his Just next destination. Just a quick sec. I think I heard... Just a quick sec. I just want to... Um, I just heard the doorbell go off. So I we've got one of those ring... Okay, that wasn't my... I'm waiting for a package, uh, which I'll talk about later. I'm, I'm doing some smoothies this week, and I'll be doing um, videos on those. Blind Bear says, I agree with you, Liam. More details would be better. All right, so we have a rope. We to have the a coast. Sack. Two houses, too. Um, so let's go check the mist again. You have reached misty area. Houses. Wooden built lumber. Wooden built to houses, one. Wall of mist. A very dense wall of mist blocks the way. Elian wants to check around before proceeding anyway. Okay. So it's not a problem at the moment. Wooden building three. So I'll check the house. Now again. there's really nothing useful here. Lumber. Lumber. Oh. To gather that much lumber, it would be necessary to have the presence of a forest nearby. Elian is starting to have a better idea of where he is. Oh. The wall of mist has meanwhile dissolved. Sounds like it's time to proceed. Well, that was kind of a weird... Wooden building four. To houses one. To the misty area center. The buildings end here. Elian now has an idea of where he is. The werewolf's forest should be nearby. Uh oh He might be attacked at any moment. He checks his jacket and notices with surprise the silver dagger is still there. The only thing he didn't lose, and the one he needs now the most... Elian takes a look at the dagger and remembers the last journey he took in that forest years ago. Back to the time, in the middle of his career, he was hunted by a herd of werewolves and their alpha. Elian still remembers the poor shape the alpha was in when Elian sliced his bust with the dagger his and he ran bust. away with his herd. Actually, the same thing happened to Elian some time ago. If he meets them now, they would try to avenge themselves, tasting his blood drop by drop. That the sounds few messy. he still has. As Elian walks distractedly, he raises his head and suddenly he's already inside that forest. He would recognize it among thousands. When did this happen? You have reached Misty Area Center. Saving point. You saved the game. All right. Corpse. Uh oh. A corpse lies on the ground. Great. Just what Elian didn't want to see. His body is covered in slashes. Probably due to werewolves, he supposes. To houses, too. To the left path. To the right path. Saving point. All right, let's, uh, to houses, to the left let's path. Let's go left. It's quite silent here. Just more mist. Yet, Elian can't think it's anything but a bad omen. Dun dun dun. You have reached Misty Area 1. Bushes. Those bushes are quite high. High enough to obstruct Elian's sight. Only the path is safe. Getting ambushed while trying to pass through bushes would be suicide. Mannequin. A mannequin? An eerie Whoa. and lifeless mannequin lies on the ground. It sat in the middle of nothing, and the head is bent towards the field. Trees. A bunch of trees blocks the path. The view is completely obstructed. To Misty Area Center. Bushes. Mannequin. Trees. To Misty Area. Bush. Mannequin. An eerie and lifeless mannequin. That's such a lies weird sound to play for the mannequin. It sat in the middle of nothing, and the head is bent towards the field. Trees. To Misty Area Center. Alright, let's go back. I guess we'll take the right path. You have reached Misty Area Center. 
I see what they did there. It's an ambush. Ha 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 Kayla King says, the word actually needs to be removed from most of the dialogue. I'm not trying to be a pain in this. It's just, yeah, no, and you're right. I like... They're, they're using the word actually a lot, and it does not belong here. But again, it, you know, we got to remember that it's not... English is not the primary language. Now, I don't speak Italian, but I, I do wonder how much better Italian versions of this game would be, or, or any of the other games as far as, like, grammatics... Gr- grammatics? Is that a term? Grammar is concerned. Um, Saving point. You saved the game corpse but it's not to houses awful. To, to the left pa- to the right, right let's path. go right alien is surrounded by trees and bushes Ooh. some wolves hide in the surroundings but he senses their presence there's a sign on a tree how strange you have wolf missed the area the battle begins oh. Nice. The battle ends. Alien gains 90 experience points. Press control to continue. Sign. Alien checks the sign. It says, don't turn around. Don't As turn he around. finishes reading, he starts to hear a lot of barking and snarling behind him. Uh-oh. Is it the pack of werewolves of the Alpha, perhaps? Elian thinks that it's not a good idea to turn around and gathers pace. The key is to not change the direction in which he goes. If he goes forward, then it must be forward. If he goes backwards, then it must be backwards. The path to the next area is free now. When did that happen? Chopped up tree. A chopped up tree with an axe lodged in it. It's quite bulky for Elian. The silver dagger is way more effective on wolves and werewolves. Faster and more practical. To miss the area center. So... To the next area. I'm assuming we don't want to go back. Sign. Chopped up tree. To miss the area center. To the next area. The growls behind Elian are increasing. He knows he doesn't have to turn around for any reason. Some werewolf has anticipated the herd and blocks Elian's way, along with some wolves. Wolf, misty area. The battle begins. Yeah. The battle ends. Elian gains 90 experience points. Elian increases his experience level. Press control to continue. Medical kit. There's a medical kit. Elian checks for transfusion bags and finds two of them inside. He gets two blood vials. All right. Werewolf. The battle begins. Nice. The battle ends. Alien gains I have to say the, one. The wolves experience in my ears points. are a little Press unnerving control and I like to continue. it. Um, medical kit. The medical kit is empty. Okay. Scratch tree. The tree is covered in scratches, as if it was for fun or anger. I'm being told if you die, it's very detailed how you die. Okay. To the previous area. Ooh, what happens if we go back? Oh, it's letting me go back. You have reached misty area, too. Wolf, 
Oh, wait, let me go back. Oh, there's a the wolf. Battle begins. Nice. The battle ends. Alien gains 90. I guess you can grind out a little points. experience that Alien way. Alien gets blood vial. Oh, and I got a blood Press vial. control. All right. Sign. Chopped up tree to miss the area center. To the next area. You have reached Misty Area 3. Wolf. Oh, another wolf. The battle begins. I do appreciate the battle that ends. there is not a lot of extra talking. Alien now. gains 90 experience points. Press control. Medical kit. Werewolf. Oh man. The battle begins. The battle if you can ends. grind the keys really quickly. Alien um, gains one. You can kill him pretty fast. Experience points. Press control to Which continue. Which I don't know how realistic that is, but again, it's arcade style. Medical kit. Scratch tree to the previous a to the next area. Medical Sc to, to the next area. More werewolves are ambushing Alien, and the growls behind him are getting louder. There are two <laughs> paths in front of him. <laughs> The one on the right is blocked by wooden planks. The one on the left is free. Where's the Alpha, anyway? What the heck is the ambience besides the wolves? It sounds like Misty a flang, area flange four. guitar. I don't know. It's eerie, though. I like it. Werewolf. Oh. The battle begins. The I battle own that ends. werewolf. Alien gains 100 experience points. Press control to con... Rock. A rock? It's a bit of a weird rock in this location. Tree. This tree is familiar. There was a lonely tree in the middle of the path, according to Alien's memory. As he watches the tree, more than once its location seems to shift a few centimeters. Well, that's not good. But maybe that's just because he's in a hurry. Maybe it's a moving tree. To the previous area. To the left path. To the right path. Werewolf. The battle begins. <laughs> ah, take that. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 experience points. Press control to con- Rock. Tree. To the previous- To the left. To the ro rock. Tree. To the previous- I guess to we're gonna have to go to the path. left. I'd like to know what that right path is for. You have reached Misty Area. One. Bushes. Mannequin. Whoa, it took me back there. Trees. To miss the area center. Um, bushes. Okay. Those bushes are quite high. High enough to obstruct Elian's wow, sight. Wow, that took me back around. Only the path is safe. Getting ambushed while trying to pass through bushes would be okay. suicide. So we're going to have to make our way back through. Mannequin. An eerie and lifeless mannequin lies on the ground. It's it sat in the middle of nothing, and the head is bent towards the field. Trees. All right, so let's, um... To miss the area center. Go back to the center. You have reached... Say, miss the area. Say, corpse. To how... To the left, to the right, saving point. You saved the game. save. Corp. To how... To the left, to the right. Right. You have reached... What? Misty area two. The battle begins. <laughs> the
the I don't battle know if I'm ends. hitting him multiple times or not. Ellie but it gains feels good. 90 experience points. All right. Press control. Sign. Chopped up tree to miss the area center. To the next area. Next area. You have reached Misty Area 3. <coughs> it's weird that they're numbered. Wolf. The battle begins. The, the numbering the is, is weird to me. I wish they had more descriptive Alien games, but 90. that's just Experience me. points. All right. Press control. Medical kit. There's probably going to be a werewolf. werewolf, right? Yeah. The battle begins. All right. He's dead. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 experience points. Press control. Now, if I go the other way... What happened? What happened? Oh, boy. What? That doesn't sound good. Suddenly, Elian turns around without thinking too much about it. The herd was way closer than he could ever imagine. He doesn't even have the time to realize that he is already surrounded and swarmed by countless wolves and werewolves. He barely manages to stab the heart of Martin, just one second before being disarmed and knocked to the ground. Uh-oh. Bite after bite rips Elian's skin apart. His screams feed their bloodlust. Oh, jeez. The wolves are content to lick the pool of blood, which is quickly spreading. The strongest werewolves of the herd can go away with one of Elian's limbs still stuck Ew. between their jaws. Game over. Finally, the Alpha arrives and sneers as he watches the scene. He quickly gets closer, and before he loses consciousness, Elian can see the Alpha ripping his heart with its fangs Ew. and chewing it greedily. Ew. So we lost, huh? <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the last saved game. Press the right arrow to go back to the main oh, menu. that's not good. All right, so we ran you out of time, I'm assuming. Misty area. Center. To the right path. So go to the right. You have reached Misty Area 2. To Misty Area Center. Chopped up tree. Sign. Wolf. Crap. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains no Okay. To the next area. Go. You have reached Misty Area 3. All right, let's see. I'm going to see... To the next area. There we go. You have reached Misty Area 4. Werewolf. Crap. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien gains one. All right, will this be enough? Experience. To the right path. The path is blocked by wooden planks. Who the heck nailed them to those trees anyway? Alien's silver dagger is not enough. Or in any case, it would take far too much time, and he would be caught by the herd. Alien saw an axe somewhere before. It should be perfect for the task. But now, see, I'm out of time. Oh. Yep. To the left. I don't think I wanted to do that. You have reached Misty Area 1. To Misty Area Center. 
Where did I see that? You have reached Misty Area, Center. Uh-oh. You have reached Misty Area, too. To the next area. To Misty Area, Center. Chopped up tree. That axe will prove useful to break the wooden planks after all. Here we go. Despite his reluctance, <coughs> Elian takes the axe. Side. Now I ran out of time. So that's really dumb. So I'm gonna get now. How do, oh, I gotta wait for the others to come in. So it's like a timed puzzle. Suddenly, Elian turns around without thinking too much about it. <laughs> Press the left right. arrow so, to load the last saved game. I like what they did. Press the right arrow to go back to the main menu. Yeah, that got gory really fast. What a dirty trick. Press the left arrow to load the last saved game. Yeah, they, they kind of make Press you go around right in a circle. Press the right arrow to go back to the main. You have reached Misty right, Area. So Center. To the right path. You opened the menu page. No, I didn't want to do that. You're back in. All right. So I see what they're doing. I like this you timed have puzzle. Misty Area. To the next area. To Misty Area Center. Chopped up tree. A chopped up tree. Now I should be able to take that axe. It's quite bulky for Elian. The silver dagger is way more effective. Yeah, I should be able to take werewolves. that. Now I ran out of time. Look at this. I ran out of time again. It's gonna do the thing to me again. That's. I don't like that. So I'm kind of stuck now. Yeah, see, here's the problem. Suddenly, Elian turns around without thinking too much about it. The herd was way closer than he could ever imagine. He doesn't even have the time to realize that he is already surrounded. There we go. Press so, the arrow to load the last And the problem is, when thing. I load... Press the right arrow to go back to the main menu. It's not. It's actually not time. You have to tab or shift tab, not both. Press the left arrow to load the last. Well, it's save not so game. much that it's timed, but there's no way to get more. Press um, the right arrow to tabs. go back to the main menu. I think. You have reached. Let me see. Misty right. area. So. Center. I want. To the right path. To go right. You have reached misty area too. To misty area center. Chopped up tree. Sign. Wolf. Ah, oh, see, now I'm gonna get begins. stuck in this battle. Oh, wait a second. Oh, are they the doing what I think ends. they're doing? So do they want me to go experience point. Nope. See, it's gonna do it to me again because I got stuck by that wolf. So that's annoying. Okay. We can't skip it. Let me skip it. Come on. I've been through this a dozen times. So I like this puzzle. Um. But I don't like that the game put me in kind of a bad state. Suddenly, Elian turns around without thinking too much about it. Press um, the left arrow to load the last okay, save. Okay, so... Game. Press the right arrow to go back to the main menu. Yeah, yeah, so Lukash brings up a really good point. Yeah, the time puzzles are good. Press the left good. arrow to load the last right, save dude, game. Good in principle, I Press guess. Press the right arrow to go back to the main menu. But when you want to take a thing, when you see it, and want to... Oh, when you can't take a thing when you see it, but... Press the left rather, arrow right, right, to... Right, right, right. Hell Hunter, Anti-Nomen. But when you're Move forced among to... among the options in the main sucks. menu Yeah, with that the is really new a game. problem. Load credits. Um, Exit game. So, let me... Um, 
New game. Load game. We're gonna try one more time here. Uh, if I don't get it... Because I know what I want to misty do. Misty area. Center. Saving point, corpse. Two houses, two to the left part, to the right part. So I want to go this way. You have reached misty area, too. No! It's the it's the tabs and shift tabs. Look. I'm out of time. Alright. So let me um unfortunately I think I have shortchanged myself by saving, which is probably something the game should be aware of. Um so I'm going to give my thoughts here. Uh, I'm kind of at a sticking point. I would have to restart the game again. And I don't really want to do that. Um, when. Um, so. I actually like the improvements a lot. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased with the improvements. I'm actually really improved. Uh, I'm pleased with this puzzle. Actually, I like what they did with the puzzle uh, a lot of having to go in the circle find look at the planks find the axe um the problem is that um and and this goes back to something that i talked about last time and again i'm going to preface this by i understand they have limitations on their engine so let me just first say that i understand that the engine that they're using has limitations um based on what was built into it by the original author. Um, what I would want to do is take an object when I see that object. So the axe, I wanted the axe. I should be able to take the axe. Um, I should not have to take the axe after looking at the um, the tree I should or the, or the planks. I should just be able to grab it when I want to grab it. Because of that, now I have to make a circuit around. And as we're finding, the game is going, no, you only have so many moves until uh, you're out of time. Um, I don't mind this game. I mean, I would play it when it comes out. Uh, I probably will. I, I find the timed, I mean, I call it a timed puzzle. It's not really a timed puzzle, but the game, yeah, does kind of limit how much time you can spend messing around. Um, I think the game should not allow you to save while that timed puzzle is going on because it can shortchange you. Um, so I think while you have a puzzle that is based on moves, the game should not allow you to save. You should be able to pull back from a point before the puzzle starts, um, which is annoying because, yeah, you might be in the middle of it, um, but at least you can't block yourself. Now, I don't know if exiting to the houses resets it. Um, that was something I didn't try. There may be a way to reset the puzzle. Um, but again, I, I'm kind of limited on time and how much time we can spend playing this. I'm also limited by patience. And so my patience was starting to, to kind of um, ebb out. So I don't know, again... And, and Tango Rider will probably comment. And Tango Rider, if you're watching this, you want to email me, please do. Um, would be happy to chat with you anyways, um, if you want. But um, I don't think this is bad. I think this is much improved. I think where the problem lies is how inflexible it is when you get to a situation like, I want to take an object or I want to use an object with an object. I'd like to see a more point and click interface where you have the option to use things, combine things, get things, um, actually use objects in your inventory. But this comes down to the engine that's being used. Um, there are some limits on what can be done. And I think given those limits, I think it's a pretty good game. Um, it's a little disappointing that it's so inflexible, but I don't think it's awful. Uh, I think this demo is really much improved. I think what we're seeing is is a much better demo than what we had a few weeks ago. And I appreciate that the author is aware of that and goes, yeah, I want to fix it. I want to make it better. Uh, because that says a lot when an author realizes that there are issues and goes to fix them. Um, it's something that we're just not used to with, especially a lot of the Italian uh, games 
I feel like they make them and they go, well, if people like them, that's cool. If not, then whatever. Um, so it is nice to see people go, yeah, all right, we're, we are listening to what you're saying. And as much as um, we can, we're going to make changes. Bobby says, I wonder if Blind Quest has changed over time. I My understanding is it's changed a little bit. Um, I will probably do Blind Quest at some point. I'm actually debating saving those for a marathon maybe later this year. Um, that's on my list of possibles. Um, but no, I overall, I think this is improved. The puzzle I actually really like. I like and I love the whole concept of don't go backwards. Um, I find that really cool. I think that's a neat concept. And I totally see where I shortchanged myself. Um, I went back instead of going forward at one time and saved, and I probably really shortchanged myself. But the problem is I can't go back further to restart the puzzle. So I kind of got myself into an unwinnable state. Um, so if you are watching you know, this down the road, Tango Rider, you can get yourself into an unwinnable state, and it means you've got to restart the game, which I think is kind of silly. Um, and I may find out that, oh, yeah, you can reset by going to the houses and maybe coming back around, but I don't think so. I don't think that's possible. Although if it is, hey, that would, that's a cool um, forward-thinking uh, thing, and if it hasn't been thought of, maybe it will. Um, gamer all, overall, not bad. I would play the full game. I like the concept. Um, I like the story. I think the story is kind of cool. Um, I appreciate that when you lose, you know you lost. Um, it gets uh, real bad real quick. Uh, again, I mean, I'll bring up the fact that because it's a second language, um, some of the writing is a little grammatically awkward, but it's not unplayable. So grammatically, you can understand it. If the game is made in Italian, I suspect that it will be all the much better. I don't speak Italian, unfortunately, so um, it's not something that I can really talk about because I just don't speak it. Uh, hey, Manoir, how's it going? Um... Yeah, I know. Miss, I know. Uh, most uh, different devs make different games, but most of them use the same engine. I like the ones that don't, i.e., Western Drama and Space Wave Race. Yeah, I do too. Um, I appreciate when they're doing something a little different. Um, but I, I have noticed that I know Blind Quest, and I'm pretty sure Fury Driver Road, Mad Max, whatever, uses. Um, the um the engine blind quest obviously does this game obviously does and uh the engine's got some pros and some cons clearly it's got some limitations that make the game a little more persnickety than it needs to be i don't think it's bad though um and like i said i'm trying to be a little more positive i'm sorry i didn't get to the end of the demo um i don't know how much farther the demo goes and i'm sorry that i didn't complete it um but i got myself into what i feel is an unwinnable situation um so it's just something that i'm going to be more aware of usually the 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 key to most games is to save often um i like to save a lot the problem is is by saving i shortchanged myself and i didn't take it seriously when it said don't go back i actually did make a step back and i think that's what got me um so, I mean, again, it's just, that was just a bad call on my part. Um, you know, what are you going to do? It's just what we did. Um, but overall, I mean, I want to speak for the improvements because the improvements make it much better. It's less verbose. There's a lot less press tab or shift tab. There's a lot less extra stuff. I like that you can skip cut scenes though i think you should be able to hold down for one second and not two i also think that should trigger once you've like once the button's been held down long enough although that could cause some issues too um possibly with then auto skipping the next scene but i appreciate that it's there um i appreciate that you can skip um bobby says what do you think your next stream will be and what do you think he'll be streaming um i am doing something tomorrow i'm actually filling in on hopefully 
I shouldn't say officially yet. Um, I should be on TBRN, the Beyond Radio Network, tomorrow at um, 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, 1500 UTC, uh, or no, I'm sorry, 2100 UTC. Um, I'm filling in for somebody. I'll be playing some music and taking requests and blah, blah, blah. So I'll be playing DJ tomorrow. Um, Sunday is usually family day. Um, so I won't be streaming Sunday unless it's later or earlier. Um, the next stream for sure will be, and I can tell you will be March 10th because that's going to be when blind drive comes out. I don't know what time I'll be streaming that at. Um, I want to do something that is, in fact, I'm going to drop the authors a, um, email and find out if they want me to stream when they're around. Um, or if they even care. Sometimes I like to work with developers when I can, but sometimes a developer would be like, yeah, stream it whenever you want, or could you stream it at this time? So that could be at any time. Although I do want to give the reminder about Blind Drive that there is a lot of course language. So if you are somebody that does not enjoy that, please do not tune into that stream. Um, uh, what a detailed death it was. Yeah, it really was. Um, it was very cringy. Uh, when Elian can see for so many things, it should have said something like, Elian doesn't think it would be a good idea to save right now. Yeah, and that's, you know what? There you go. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think the game should tell you that. Like, listen, you don't want to do this right now. You don't want to save. You you just don't want to do it. Don't do it. Um. But they didn't, and that's just the way it is. So rather than, uh, you know, belaboring the point, it just didn't happen. Um, also, you guys are going to hear my email go off. I'm kind of waiting for a couple emails and things like that. In fact, I'm when we get done here, I have to work on something for somebody and do some stuff. Uh, no, I don't see anything important in here. Um, no. Okay, cool. It's always nice when you don't have mail, um, especially important mail. So, uh, pardon me while I yawn. Um, so that was, uh, Hell Hunter, um, Anti Nomen, and that was the demo. And I like the, uh, concept. Like I said, I don't like getting myself in an unwinnable state, but I also don't hate the game. Uh, I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty good, and I would definitely play it again, and I probably will when the full one comes out. Um, I hope a few things are kind of fixed a little bit. Um, I realize there are some limits based on the engine, so the backtracking stuff is annoying, um, but you know they're working with what they got, which is completely reasonable. I can, I can feel that. On a spiritual level, I know what it's like to only have certain tools to work with and having to make the best out of what you got. And I feel like they did. Um, I feel like they built pretty well. I mean, we have that same problem in Fury Moonwalks or Fury Road or whatever, um, Fury Walk, um, you know, where you had to come back and do something again. And you were like, why? That makes no logical sense. Um, it's just the way the engine works. It's just not the most fluid thing. Um, I hope that the author of the engine that they're using works on that because I really like that they built something that these guys can uh, build on and they could just be like, listen, we've got this thing. You can build games on it easy. Um, you know, it's written in Unity, so they're able to quickly make these adventure games. And and I, for the most part, I like their adventure games. I think they're pretty well written. Um they usually have pretty good stories. Blind Quest, again, I mean, you guys know how I feel about Blind Quest. I'm not a fan of it. But I thought um, Moonwalks, Moon Road, whatever, uh, had a good story. Um, I think this game is kind of a cool story. Uh, you know, it's something different, so I like that. Um, can't wait for Blind Drive and see a, a Crazy Party. See you then. Yeah, I don't know when Crazy Party will be. Um I'll try to do something uh, this week. Again, it all depends on a few things going on. Um, you know, because I have two things going on. One, I've been applying for some jobs. 
Um, so if one of those, you know, comes through, then that's my um, free time gone. Uh, second of all, I'm trying to get vaccines for my family. So I also have to work around like if there's a vaccine and we've got to go, you know, get them taken care of, then obviously I have to work around that. So my schedule is kind of fluid and things change. Um, but for sure, I should be here Wednesday. I just don't know what time. Uh, I'm going to like actually write to them here a little later and open up a dialogue, see if they want me to do it at a particular time or if they even care or what's going on. Um, so we'll try to, you know, sort that out. I may even do, I was actually debating doing two streams of that game. Um, cause it's not a particularly long game, but I thought about maybe doing one later at night and then one earlier. I don't know. Um, it's all up in the air. So, um, might, might do it, you know, might do it twice. I have no idea. Again, um, the biggest thing to do, make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you're not already, I mean, you should be. Um, make sure that you have notifications turned on. That will let you know when a stream is going live. It always tells you a half an hour ahead of time. I'm always scheduling them far enough ahead to where it goes, hey, Liam's going live in 30 minutes. Um, so we'll always tell you. And then make sure you follow me on YouTube or on YouTube. Well, make sure you're doing that too. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Um, I always post ahead of time. This morning was kind of last minute. I was supposed to stream this later today but again i you know i talked about things come up things happen um some stuff is going on this afternoon that i've got to be around the house for so that is kind of you know determine the fact that i had to stream earlier today as opposed to streaming later i was supposed to stream at like four o'clock my time which would have been um 2200 utc but it just didn't work out that way so i have to be flexible um, but yeah, make sure you are subscribed to me on YouTube. In fact, big thanks to all 2,170 of you that are subscribed. It's really appreciated. Make sure you have notifications turned on. Um, as they say, ring that bell. There's a little bell that will tell you, and it will show you that your notifications are, um, I believe it's either, uh, what is it? Like all notifications or just specific in fact let me look i'm going to tell you because i follow somebody so let me all right so there's all notifications and how do we There's all and personalized and none. Make sure you're set to all. Um, personalized only shows you some. None obviously shows you none. You don't want that. You want to know when I'm going live. Otherwise, you'll never know. Uh, and it will just be a big mystery. Uh, let's see. I don't really have much else to say. Is there anything else that I should bring up today? Anything you guys want to yap about? We still got a little time. I can stay for a little while longer. finishing the last of that red bull oh so i'll stick around for a couple more minutes if there's something that you think i'm missing you know i say it's watermelon it tastes more like strawberry i don't i don't really like it i have to be honest i'm, I'm gonna be glad to be out of these watermelon ones i have a watermelon left i have a watermelon a peach and a tropical so i'll be glad to be Rid, uh, I, you know, I'll be glad to be rid of those. Um, so let's see. Just give you guys a minute. See if there's anything else that I'm missing. I don't think so. I think we're pretty well set. Um, like I said, Wednesday, sometime Wednesday, we'll be doing blind drive. Don't know what time. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to fact later today that will be my project to figure out if they want me to launch it or whatever. Um, as you guys know, I try to work with developers when I can, if there's like something going on. And if you're a developer too, and you have something coming out and you want me to spotlight it, um, please get in touch. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I always, I always say this too, you know, I love to review things. Um, hopefully I did 
more justice justice to hell hunter um i feel bad so again my apologies for really sh- giving it the short end of the stick the last time we played it um hopefully i was able to do a little bit more i know like i said we got stuck with that puzzle um i'd have to play through a whole new game again i just don't want to do that but um i like the changes i'm i'm very pleased with them i'm i think they're big improvements i love that um what's that like deadly blow or whatever it's called i like that there's a cool combat mechanic added uh i think that's kind of a neat thing that you know kind of enhances the combat system so audio game geek says i know the fix to your code 7 issue yeah um i've had people tell me that i need to remove the blank lines um and that it's just you've got a clear space it you know i love the game but there are parts that are not very intuitive. Um, Ahaja says, are you planning on finishing Code 7? I hope I got that right. Is it Ahaza? Uh, Ahaja? I don't know. I'm so sorry, dude. Um, am I planning on finishing Code 7? Yes. Um, what my plan is with Code 7 is they're going to release an update this year at some point because um, they got to do Episode 4. My plan is to really spend time with it. Then we won't be doing marathons. I'll be doing smaller streams. We'll we'll try to play through it. I'll like set aside some time to do it, and we'll try to work our way through it. Um, but I want to wait because they do want to fix some bugs. They ha- they do know about some things, um, and they are going to fix them, but not until four comes out, and that just means that we are stuck with a few bugs that I would like to see get sorted. And uh, when they're sorted, we'll do, we'll do streams. Um, I don't know when that's going to be. That'll just be when it is. Um, And I would like to play it again. I would like to really give it a good playthrough, really get through the game that we've got a lot left to do. We're still in um, two. Of course, I'll have to figure out that God awful password puzzle again with the numbers that I hated so much. So I'm not super thrilled about that. But that's why we'll do them on uh, live streams. Would I ever play a Heroes Call again? Um, maybe. Um, you know, the problem with the Heroes Call is I don't think it's going to get any more updates. Um, so I'm not really crazy about playing it through if there's nothing new. But it was a good game. It was fun. It would be fun to talk about. Um, I would not be opposed to playing it again. Um, I don't know if I would 100% it, but uh, I would not be opposed to giving it another shot. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's so cool about the bugs, and they want to fix. They want to fix them. Looking for uh, app for myself. Yeah, they um, they definitely know about them. They've been talking to some people on Discord. Um, they're really aware of what's going on. They're aware of the issues. Um, I guess they've been dealing with a lot, both with COVID and some other things. Uh, One of the developers is he's dealing with his own stuff. And so, and they have another project that they're working on that they were given funding for and they need to get it done because that's, what's going to keep them afloat. So they have to prioritize their projects based on what was given funding. I guess either the state or somebody gave them funding for a project and they have to have it done by a certain time they, they may have gotten either a loan or something, and they have to show that they've got this project done. Um, I don't know all the, the stuff behind it. I just read a post. I don't talk to them personally. Um, so I'm just going based on what I, what they've, you know, what they've said and what has been written, but, um, they do want to work on code seven. They've got another episode to do. So here's hoping that when that's done, there are some bugs fixed and we can play through it. And, uh, have a grand old time and we can make a few weeks out of it. We can do streams every day or every couple days. And that way we're not working through it uh, all at once, like the marathon. Cause I know it was hard for people because people were like, well, gee, I don't like this game or gee, I don't want it spoiled. So a lot of people didn't tune in and it was a very light marathon. So the next marathon we do is going to be multiple games like we normally do, like the, the stuff that you guys like. Um, so that's my plan. Um, they've also changed some things on the veil demo. I've already done the veil demo like three times. Um, 
Oh, Audio Game Geek says they started working on it this month. Okay, cool. Well, great. That'll be really neat. Um, I'm not going to do the Veil demo again because we've done it like a gazillion times. I will do the Veil when it comes out. I definitely plan on it, but that's going to be whenever it comes out. And right now, COVID is making it very difficult for them to safely get people into a recording studio, which I completely understand that needs to be the priority is getting people to work safely. Um, I feel that on a spiritual level. I did some stuff last year and we had some issues. I don't want to say we had issues with COVID, but COVID was a major factor in the work that we did and affected uh, the quality of the work that we were able to do, I think. I want to be careful how I say that. Um, I'm under contract still, so I don't trying to be really careful um i'm just gonna say yeah covid was a major factor for a lot of companies and and the way that they worked and how they did things um so that being said i really don't have much more um if you think of something leave a comment uh on these videos make sure again that you are subscribed make sure that you're getting all the notifications Um, again, I don't know what's going on with crazy party tomorrow. I'm busy. Sunday is family day. Um, maybe Monday again, don't quote me please. Cause it all depends on what happens going forward with some things. Uh, but I will be here Wednesday time to be determined. Please make sure you're following on Twitter or, um, YouTube. I'll try if I can to put up a little announcement on when I'm going to do that. But again, I can't promise anything. It's just one of those things. So I think we're going to wind down for the day. I do want to thank all my awesome patrons. They're there up on your screen. Um, again, if it was not for patrons, I would not be able to continue to do this. Um, uh, April Fool's Day, by the way, is coming up. I don't have anything planned for this year. Uh, I, a couple of years ago, I did Super Liam 2, the game book, and a lot of people really hated it, and uh, it made a lot of people angry, which I'm not going to lie, made me giggle hysterically. Um, I feel like an April, Fool April, April Fool's joke is a good joke when you make people mad, um, and it made people really upset. Uh, at, at one point, I was told by some people they would never watch my streams again or play my games again, which I'm sorry, just made me laugh even harder. Um, if you're that upset about a joke, then you need to check yourself at the door because it's a joke. Still do blind drive next week. Yeah, Austin, I sure will be uh, next Wednesday. I don't know what time I'm going to talk to the developers and see if they want me to play it when it launches or play it later in the day. I don't know where they're from. I thought one of them was from Israel, but I'm just guessing I'm grasping at straws at this point. So I like to do things when developers are around when possible. Um, I wasn't able to consult with Tango writer for, um, anti -Nomen, but I'd be willing to, when the game comes out, um, you know, I always try like when Wanderword was doing stuff, I would consult with them, be like, Hey, when are you guys going to be around? When do you want to check out a stream? Um, I've done the same thing with, um, uh, purple jam that does the dusk light stuff. So I, you know, I try to work with developers when I can, cause I think it's kind of a cool thing to do. But, um, you know, that's just what I do. So big thanks to all my patrons. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash Liam Irvin. Big thanks to Kyle Smith, Ivan Soto, Munawar Vajani, Sonny the OG, James Dean, Jim Denham, Anya Kristen, Michael Maslow, <coughs> Trevor Johnson, Kevin Lyon, Stephen Luttrell, Simon Yeager, Lukish, Austin Nix, Sarah Hawk, Jason Smith, Melissa Rowe, Hillary Duncan, Ashley Coleman, Bianca, The Evil Chocolate Cookie, Shane Early, Courtney Barton, Bryant, Roland Engelsma, Axel Schroll, Abdullah Dubase, Changeling, Chad Blanco, and Jack Filichuk. Thanks to all you guys that are patrons. Thanks to everyone who sends Red Bulls my way. Um, Where do I get the music? I don't know. I, I just grab a bunch of stuff from OC Remix. Uh, I'm trying to use stuff that's um, royalty-free so that I can actually um, still make... Uh, what do you call those? Mon I can still monetize my videos, but 
monetization is really fallen for a number of reasons. So that's why Patreon and super chats and donations are like so, so important because now uh, it's very hard to monetize a video. It's very hard to get any ad revenue from the video. Um, it's, it's very difficult. And in a lot of cases, I don't make anything on these videos anymore. Um, oh, Ajan came in. We're like getting ready to leave. I'll stick around for 10 more minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick around for 10 more. Um, see, so look at that. You had a birthday last week, right? I hope you had a good birthday. I know we were late on the birthday, but we did wish you a happy birthday. Um, but yeah, so uh, it is really hard now to monetize. And a lot of that was because of some things that were done by some other streamers. And, I, and they weren't blind streamers, but like some major streamers did some things. Um, it was very upsetting to some advertisers. They pulled their advertising from YouTube. YouTube went in a tailspin and really locked down a lot of things really hit us hard. And I know there are some people that no longer stream on YouTube because of that. Um, they, or they just don't do videos anymore because they lost their monetization and that's where they were getting their money from. And so they had to just do something else because they weren't making that money. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it is really hard and that's why I, I mean, sometimes I take a lot of heat from people because I push the Patreon and I push the donations pretty hard. And the reason that I do that is because I kind of have to, um, I still have bills to pay. I still have things I have to do. I'm not working, um, right now. I would love for that to change and maybe it will, um, you know, touch wood that it will, but right now it's, you know, my money comes from, and, and being able to, you know, get groceries, pay bills. And obviously, I mean, do the, the games and stuff, because I mean, I still have to buy them. Um, it's rare that a developer goes, well, you play my game and review it. Here's a copy. Um, they do sometimes, but in most cases I'm on the hook for that. So, I mean, to continue doing this does come from donations. And that's why I'm very big on, pushing the patreon and the super chats and these things um oh it was your birthday last wednesday oh okay bobby happy birthday late one i didn't know but happy happy birthday um yeah youtube monetization has gone down the rabbit hole for the last year yeah it's it's been bad um actually longer probably about a year or so um it's just it's a bad time um and it sucks uh, it's, it's too bad. I used to get, I mean, I could make, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I could get a dollar, dollar 50 a day, uh, in monetized, monetized income, which I mean, adds up. And so, but now I'm lucky to have anything monetized anymore because either a track was used that somebody owns and you have to pay them or, you know, the video gets demonetized. So they get your monetization or, um, something in the video gets flagged by YouTube and YouTube goes, Oh, you can't monetize that. So it's just, it's brutal. Now it is so brutal. And I got in on the tail end when monetization was good. And literally when I started doing well, that's when everything went down the tubes. Um, Hey tech masters, how's it going? I'm really sorry that you're catching the end of the stream. Uh, please check out this archive. It was pretty cool. I think I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Like I said, blind drive Wednesday, um, maybe crazy party during the week. Um, don't quote me if I'm getting any sicker, I'm not going to want to do anything tomorrow though. Um, I will be on TBRN. So TBRN.net. I'll be on at 4 PM Eastern, which is, um, uh, 2100, I believe, unless something changes. So I just got asked today if I could fill in tomorrow. So it's very possible that they may be like, you know what? We changed our mind, Liam. You're a horrible fill in. Don't do it. Um, but check it out. I'm going to play some tunes and, you know, play DJ and all that stuff. So, um, might, might play some weird tunes. Might, I don't know what I'm going to play yet. I haven't decided. Um, 
I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to go. I like to go all over the board. I like to play everything. So, um, But anyways, that is what's going on um, this week. Uh, I'm waiting for some smoothies to get here. Um, I, there's a company that makes smoothie powder. So if you guys remember my juice cleanse videos from 2018, I'll be doing uh, reaction videos to these smoothies. We'll be seeing which ones are good, which ones are bad, which ones are delicious, which ones are not. And uh, we're going to give them a try. So check those out. If you want a different sort of set of videos that are just different, um, I think those are going to be fun. Techmaster says it's 155. Yeah, so it's 1255 my time. So you're on Eastern. So um, I'll be on 4 to 7 tomorrow, tbrn.net. If you have a smart speaker like an Echo or a Google, just ask it to PlayStation TBRN, and uh, I'll be on. So I'll be playing some some tunes, and we'll take phone calls and all that usual radio stuff. it would be kind of fun. Something to do. But uh, that's really all I have for today. I'm going to flash the Patreon screen up there one more time. Uh, I guess I'll read the patrons again. Why not? You guys are getting a freebie. Um, so big thanks to my patrons that make these videos possible. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash Liam Irvin, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash L-I-A-M-E-R-V-E-N. Uh, Five dollar patrons get a personalized thank you message. In fact, I need to send two of them out. I've been slacking. Uh, I apologize to the new patrons. In fact, that would be Kyle Smith and Ivan Soto. Need to get theirs today. So when I'm actually done here, um, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, I'll make sure that they get theirs done. So big thanks to Kyle Smith, Ivan Soto, Munawar Vajani, Sonny the OG, James Dean, Jim Denham, Anya Kristen, Michael Maslow, Trevor Johnson, Kevin Lyon, Stephen Luttrell, Simon Yeager, Lukish, Austin Nix, Sarah Hawk, Jason Smith, Melissa Rowe, Hillary Duncan, Ashley Coleman, Bianca, the evil chocolate cookie, but by the way, it's two different people. Um, there's a comma there. Shane Early, Courtney Barton, Bryant, Roland Engelsma, Axel Schrull, Abdullah Dubase, Changeling, Chad Blanco, and Jack Filichek. So again, thanks to all you guys that are patrons. Um, I realize some people can't donate and don't want to donate, which is totally cool. Um, no pressure. What you can do to help me is share these uh, videos with your friends. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure you click that little like button there. Make sure that if you are subscribed to YouTube, that you are getting notifications to know when I go live. So 5 p.m. your time. No, no, no. It'd be um, for your time because it'll be four to seven Eastern, um, which you're on Eastern, I believe. If it's 155 there, well, now it's 159. Um, so it would be four. So four to seven Eastern, three to six Central. And that would be... Um, um, 2100 to 0, 100. Yeah, I don't know. 1, 2, 3. Yeah. So 21 to 0 UTC. Uh, I try to do UTC because it's universal time and I feel like everyone can look it up. Um, Ajan says, I recently did very well in the Braille Challenge yesterday, but now I've got a headache. You know, I never did the Braille Challenge. Um, I never got. Like, I should have as a kid. I never got to do it. Um, is it like a stream? Yeah, it's uh, they're a music station. They play a lot of music. Um, I'll be playing songs and taking requests, and it's just like listening to the radio, but hopefully a lot better because I will be playing DJ. So, you know, it'll just be three hours of, hey, it's Liam. Hey, I played your favorite tunes, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, if there's songs that you guys like, uh, request them. If I can find them, I'll play them. That sort of deal. You know how it goes. That's, that's just one of those things, you know? It's just the radio. Um, and there's a lot of other good shows on there, so it's if you're into the whole internet radio thing, it's worth checking out. Um, again, that's tbrn.net, uh, or ask your smart speaker to play station TBRN, and uh, I'll be on there tomorrow. So maybe we can uh, break some records. Let's see how many people we can get to tune in. I'll... Uh, throw a video up tomorrow afternoon to remind everybody that I'm live over there and uh, maybe uh, we can, uh, you know, take over the station for a few hours. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, thank you, Nightbot. Buy Liam a Red Bull and give him wings. 
That was very nice of you. So um, that's what we're doing. So I am out of here. Again, big thanks to everyone that tuned in. Uh, there's 21 of you still here. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone who tuned in. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. <coughs> hopefully it was fun. But uh, I better go record my things for the new patrons because I'm slacking. Sorry, patrons. I love you. I promise. Um, I will quit slacking and I'll get working. So anyways, I am out of here. As always, thanks for watching and or listening. Good night and good corn. <laughs>